newly elected Somali President Mohamed Abdullahi Farmajo has tapped this former oil executive as his speak for Prime Minister as the duo seeks to establish the first functioning central government in the country following a quarter century of conflict and drought. According to President Farmajo, the technocrat Hassan al Qaire, who is also a political newcomer and a former humanitarian worker, is the perfect fit for the position. Hassan, uh, Hassan is an experienced person who has worked extensively across Somalia and has good relationship with the regional states and a vast network of influential Somali politicians. He is not a newcomer in the political scene and is a respected figure. A 275-member parliament will have to endorse Gaire in the coming days. On the streets of the capital, a sense of optimism following Farmajo's February 8th victory. Experts say the incoming administration must seize the moment, capitalize on the massive public support it enjoys and create opportunities for the country's young people. The new prime minister is expected to form a comprehensive cabinet comprised of experienced officials that represent all aspects of the society. The incoming government must also meet the requirements and the expectations of the Somali public. The president has asked parliament to approve his pick, promising service delivery. It's the same legislative body that picked the 54-year-old former prime minister in one of the highly contested polls in the country's political history. Once approved by parliament, I promise to form a competent team that will address the public needs. I also promise to fulfill the core values of the president, as clearly stipulated in his campaign pledges in my new government. An anti-corruption crusader, Farmajo's promise to tackle corruption, promising to address injustice and ensuring grassroots reconciliation among Somali clans. The new government must also tackle corruption that has made this country the most corrupt nation in the world. There is so much optimism that the people have, and the cabinet and its members must create hope for the people of this nation. And based on past history of Somali parliaments, no prime minister has failed to be endorsed. But Qaire's appointment is by far seen as President Farmajo's biggest test. Since 2000, each Somali president has appointed at least three prime ministers and three different governments in a span of four years, a culture that has created political instability and political bickering among different arms of the government. The current president himself was a victim of political instability that ultimately saw his resignation in 2011. He now says that culture must change, terming it as unacceptable. Abdul Aziz Bilon, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.